Hi, this is Becca Feekin with Amazing Paper Grace, a licensed Spellbinders designer. And we've been talking about ways that you can embellish your cards to set them apart. That means that we're doing these little uh, tips, we're doing little things that just draw attention to an area and they're always bound to work. So today, what I'm gonna to talk to you about is creating a frame. That is one of my favorite techniques and when nothing else seems to be working, that's what I always resort to. By creating a frame, you create depth that people can actually look into. It draws your eyes into the card. Um, I use it as a landing place for flowers. And so I have this card here and um, I wanted some depth, but I also wanted a place not just flat on top of something to put a flower, but I actually wanted a place that they could be coming out of. It almost looks like they're cascading. And so that's the total trick. You want some depth so that you can get that effect that draws the eye in. So on this particular card with the flowers coming out, it just really speaks to me. It's very easy to put together. I'm gonna to put together a card really quick and you're gonna see how I set up that frame to have a good depth and to create a great landing place for your flowers. Now I have already um, set up a card base uh, that is six by six. I'm gonna go ahead and just run through this real quick. Here's my card base. I mounted white or cream actually cardstock behind it. I'm just gonna put that in place. And then um, I'm working with a couple of dies. This is flourished square. And then I also have hemstitch oval. So next I'm gonna put down flourished square. It makes a great centerpiece for the card. And remember, I'm using two layers of foam so that you can get that depth and just, you bring it up off of the card and it creates a shadow that's interesting for the eye. Now, this brings us to our frame. I love a toll look. And by toll, I'm talking about stacking identical elements to create depth. So I've already stacked two of these together. And the secret to getting a really smooth look is putting your foam tape at the same place on every level. So I have a double decker now, and I'm actually going to put the tape on this last one, and then we will put it on our card. So I will go ahead and just layer that there. And I'm gonna actually put the foam tape where the under layer is, so like right here. And there are only about seven pieces here, so this should be really quick. All right, so my base is done. Now I'm gonna actually put my sentiment down. I like that coming out of there. I do actually have one more piece I need to put down. And now the last frame is going into place. So you do a little bit of adjustment here. That coming out. Okay, so you see the alignment. I still have, I have both edges of this, um, this, you know, sentiment tag coming out and you can see the whole word. So I've already gone ahead and made a couple flowers that I'm gonna hot glue into place. I also have a bow. So this is an excellent place to, um, to showcase a bow because you have that depth that we talked about. Just gonna put some hot glue here. Find a good place to put that. I will just add that right there. Now I can pick one of our flowers and I usually go for the largest one first and place the smaller ones next. And I'm gonna just place that front and center on that bow. Now we talked about depth, so it's time for me to put one inside. So hot glue. And I'm gonna just nestle this down inside. Do you see how that works? So now I've got different layers. I've got a flower up high and I've got flowers down low. Three, you must always do in at least threes, at least. So I'll put this one right here. Okay, 
And then I have um, a couple of sprigs. So I'm just going to cut those real quick and put them in place and then our card will be done. You can see from looking though that just that little bit of depth adds a lot of magic to the card. Okay, and I'll put another one. Let go this. Die cutting and just the little elements certainly set your cards apart. You can see it just from stacking up three frames. Here we go, our last sprig. And we're done. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting!